Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today guys we are returning to a model. We are going to be doing stage 37 of Build the Bismarck. I haven't said that word in a long time. Uh, yeah, so I feel a little bit we've neglected, well I have neglected the Bismarck really. I've got loads of stuff to do on it. I haven't really been doing it and um, yeah, so I've decided... We are going to have the return of the Bismarck uh, this uh, this week. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is, if I haven't got a specific video for that for that day, I'm going to release a Bismarck video. So I'm going to go record basically as much as this Bismarck as I can. Uh, so we're going to do stage 37 today. There is quite a little bit to do, but there's not really a lot of fine detail. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay guys, let's get started. So, first thing I need is my Partwork Upgrades Builder Stuffin. Before I get this out. Okay, because we need the hull of the ship because we're going to be putting another plate on. So, here we have the uh, plate. We're just going to slot that just underneath like that. And then we're going to screw that in with some PM 2 times 4 millimeter screws. Now we need three of these. These are the silver screws you get. Just uh, making sure that's lined up. And it's not very lined up. Let's just undo this screw. I did feel resistance and that's better. I shouldn't be. Okay, that's the first one in. Now I think it's very important you make sure all these panels line up. So I'm going to do the next one. We'll just bring it down a bit more in camera shot. There we go. And finally, we've just got one here. Okay, so that's that part done. And we can move the hull to one side and we can move the builder's cushion now. Okay, so... Next, what we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on the radar uh, unit. And what we need is this part here and this part here. And this is just going to simply go over there just like that. But we need to glue it down. So I'll get some glue. Right, I think we're going to need a bit more than what I've just got out there. Because we have a lot of parts to glue today. Okay, so I'm just going to get some glue. Just dab some all around. Just like that. Then with this side facing up, we're just going to bob that into place. Okay, so now we've done that, we need to move this over. And we've got a hole just in there. We've got this cog here and this has got this bit here. This bit is going to be facing down when it wants to go in. For some reason, I've got glue all over me again. Occupational hazard, I suppose. Right, okay, so that's now down. Next, what we need to do is we've got this pin. We 
which will go in. Right, let me get my tweezers because these are very small cogs. I'll get my favourite set of tweezers. Okay, that's now in place, just like that. Next we need is this cog here. Now this has got, got like a smaller cog and then a larger cog together. We want the smaller cog facing down, engaging with that cog there. Now we can, and we have got a pin we can put in. Now my concern is that pin coming out like that. So we'll do what we can. Right, so I'm fairly happy that's uh, engaged the way it should have done. Yep. Okay, so the next bit is we need this bit here. And if you notice, it's got like a cross pattern and we need that facing us. So there is another cog there as well. That's going to engage with that second cog. So that's just gone in there like so. Okay. And then next what we need to do is we need this part here. And we need these pegs sort of facing upwards. And we're just going to secure everything in just like that. Then we're going to screw that down with some PB 2 times 5 millimeter screws. So we need three of them. These are the black ones. We are supplied four in this issue. So that's a way of identifying them. Good to be working on the... Uh, the Bismarck again. I have to say. The last one. Okay, fantastic. That's now down nice and tight. Let's just double check them. Yeah. Yeah, so they're all on that nice and tight now. Right, so what we need next is we need the motor that we did in issue 36, which we have here. We also need these screws that came in issue 36 as well. And so I'll just pour them onto my magnetic mat. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to fit this motor now. Now I'm just looking at the way they've got it in. So they've got it in like that with the red wire here and the black wire there. And then them screws that we've just opened are going to be what's going to hold the motor on. Now at the end of the live stream, uh, live stream? At the end of the video, when we've completed this, I will test the motor to make sure everything is working. The cogs are working as they should do. And everything is fine. Okay, that's in place. Looking fantastic already. Okay, so the next thing we need is this part here. Now, this is just going to sit over this white part that's coming out from the cogs. That's just going to sit on there. And then we actually need to screw that down with a PB 1.7 times 4 millimeter screw.
Okay, that's that screwed in place. Just going to have a quick tidy up. Okay. Right, so the next part we need is this part here. Now, I'm just looking at how they've got this to make sure I've got it right. I don't think it really matters, but we have got a notch there that's going to match up with a notch that's on here. So it's going to go on like that. What we need to do, we need to put some glue on it to make sure that it glues in place. I don't think it really matters where you glue it, but I'm, I'm going to glue it's like an inside lip here on this bit. I think that's where the good contact points are going to be. Right, so that's one side. That's the second side. Turn that over and let's just hold it there for a second while the glue goes off. Brilliant. And then the last, more or less the last thing we need to do is we need to put this part on here it's going to go on like that with this flat part facing upwards again we need to glue this in place Okay, and we'll just bob this into place, just like so. Keep seeing holes and I'm thinking, yes, there's going to be quite a bit of detail on this one. Okay, so that's now in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring over the test board. going to bob it in so what should happen is this should spin which it does as you can see that looks absolutely fantastic really really chuffed with that so everything is working as it should do and that's this issue done so yeah that looks quite a lot for just uh a nice 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 issue to do i know i've got quite a lot of uh, other issues to do um but i'm really pleased with that and uh, it is nice to be working on this ship again because i feel i've neglected it somewhat over the last few months um but kicked myself into gear and said no right i'm gonna get on with it so that is issue 37 complete well, thanks everybody for tuning in for issue 37 of the Bismarck. I am going to be getting on with issue 38 as soon as possible. And then, like I said, throughout the week, when we um, when I don't have a video to release on the evening, I'll release a, uh, a Bismarck and we can catch up on what we need to do on this video. Um, my plans are, obviously, we've got the uh, Jubilee celebrations this weekend. Um, we're not really doing much for the Jubilee celebrations, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. So I'm going to try and record as much of the Bismarck as I can um, and let's see how far I get um, but anyway if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already get your feet. if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos I can't believe it. I do that or you know I've run that off so many times and never done it anyway guys stay safe and bye for now